We're in our final moments here at Avengers Campus, but we couldn't leave without a full portion of the banana smoothie. I'd say one of the most premium beverages here, not yeah. alcoholic beverages here. Honestly, this thing, hot take. Pain in the ass. No. It's one of the highlights of this part for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, just the just the lore of like like they could have been lazy and just given you the same shit that you get if you just buy it like lit up with the blue or the green. It's true. I mean the blue or the red. But instead they were like, hey, we already used it already and, and it's cracked. Just like the subtlety in that crack. What's so cool about it is like, is we didn't notice. We had to ask someone to actually like get that lore. Cause I was like, yeah. there should be a color in here. Yeah. Like, there should be a color. And yeah. Like, yeah. Nope. No. Nope. And I was like, damn, nope. you're right. I'd say like just the fact that we got blapped and blapped by, by the lore here was a big highlight of mine. The, yeah. ca the Kang Easter egg is a, is a huge, huge highlight. Those little things, just like that Kang stuff, replacing that every week. And Not what the crazy the and the crazy thing about that is that it's so like we found it on the side by yeah. accident. You yeah. really don't know that. It's no there. crowd around it. Not a single. No one person. else noticing it. Uh, we were freaking out on the side by ourselves. Yeah. Like, oh my god! Totally this by just ourselves. came out. What is going on here? Yeah. Another highlight is of course this smoothie, <laughs> the shawarma, and of course the choco. Smash. Yeah. I really appreciate the, the, the Pingo Dose, honestly. I, I like Yeah. Everyone was asking about this. This was a happy mistake. Everyone yeah, and I completely was just like, alright, I'm gonna order that thing. It I didn't our realize thirst. it was that because there's like twenty two ninety nine for this. Yeah. I pro I probably would have if I'd realized before yeah, I'd have been yeah, like yeah. I'm not getting that. Yeah, I don't know like, how you did that by accident. You thought like you were just getting like the drink. Yeah, I I I don't know, thing. it's not even that because like, just I, a can of the Pingo. I no, I think I thought it was just like, oh it's an oversized can. I I didn't realize, I, I didn't understand what I was getting, and then yeah. I saw the price after. Hey. So I was like, uh, cause and I this... just thought it would be a fun thing, oversized can, but yeah, I, I, underst I understood once I got it, I was like, oh, I got some crazy thing, yeah. but I didn't realize that this was what it was until like I really thought about it and then looked it up to confirm. Like, for yeah. me, incredible Hulk of all things. And this shit kept us hydrated the entire day. Honestly, so, the VIP today. Yeah, like <laughs> VIP, Pico, MVP. So say, MVP. Best ride is definitely Mission Breakout. The lore, we will do a separate video on every little Easter egg that we saw in that, in that ride, but the lore in Mission Breakout and the ride itself is honestly the most thrilling. Like, everything else was pretty much fine is a cute little game cute as far little. as rides go i mean there's just not a lot here it's, it's all about like, the that's food just the truth it is honestly like we had a, a whole time just enjoying yeah. food we really didn't buy much of the merch because it was all kind of whatever like yeah the spider bots are like uh, it's like mostly for kids i mean like i get like the droids make sense at galaxy's edge because that's nostalgia we all know what those droids look like, but like we don't know what spider bots are. Like, why are we getting? Why are we paying eighty dollars for a spider bot? Right, it's so exclusive to um, this, this like yeah. area, this thing, and it, and the ride itself isn't like that exciting. It's so quick. Yeah. It's not like it's throughout the whole park that it's like, oh, spider, yeah. bots, spider bots. It's like uh, they're not cool. They're just like, oh, you have to beat them. Okay. Yeah. Merch wise, it's just not. There's nothing that great. There's no great real replicas. There's no great real. There's not yeah. even a Mjolnir. This, they don't even I, sell shields. That's that, what I was saying. Yeah, yeah I, I, this is my, the thing I want to like, say is that... At it, Galaxy's Edge, you get like all these props from the movies, and then here, you, there's no props. Like I, There's like, nothing. There's nothing from other like, movies. This is all right. like very, like, like what do we have here, here in this park? Yeah. Okay, Spider-Man, okay, Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy, and those are like the only yeah. two like actual themed shops. Other than that, they have right. like a few things from a from yeah. across a thing and then just a big bunch of Avengers logos and I just don't care anymore like I want more lore I want more stuff from the film yeah. like no Thor stuff no like show me a $150 Mjolnir and I probably won't buy it but like I want to see it I want to see it and I would maybe get something else random like a Doctor Strange time necklace stone. like I don't know just like little little props from the movies even if they're like upcharged like that's what Doc Ondars does so well at Galaxy's Edge and they don't do that at all here, it's just a little weird. Like for a park that really sucks you and your wallet dry, they really could be doing so yeah. much better here. Yeah. Like, I, I'm like, give me your jobs, like I'll I, do it. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> they will start it. I, they, how can they They must not... have a plan, right? There's no shield, they're not selling a shield. No like, shield, no mule near, like none of the big things like that. And I mean, it's just like, 
It just all feels very like. And with Doctor Strange, there's no like Doctor Strange merchandise either. Like, there's nothing. There's no like. There's no lore to look at. So, I mean, like they just have that stuff over there. But like, think about like the 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 Kamartage, I think it is, or like whatever. Like when you go into the into the freaking house there. <laughs> And, you, and there's all these different artifacts and objects and stuff, and you just don't see any of that here. No, no. Of levitation, none of the like none the, of the things he touches, none of it. The Tony Stark and Peter glasses, what are those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could have sold those. Like that would have been a really cool. They could just be selling stuff from like all of these movies. Like, there's yeah. so many things to to, to Like there's sell. nothing. They didn't hit a lot of nostalgia here, and I think that's what Galaxy's Edge, that's what the other park does a lot better. Like this exists in no universe, whereas Galaxy's Edge exists between episodes seven and eight. Whereas this exists, like it exists nowhere, in that universe, like, but, but now that the multiverse period. is open, right? Why not? But, but the thing is, they too. make it. They they really do try to make it clear in, in a in a way. Like it, it's not totally clear, but then when we see that picture, and you're like, wait, they're in Hong Kong. There's a Stark Tower. Ant Man's fighting robots we've never seen before. Yeah, I, but I like the whole story that like this whole area is like a an old. Um, Stark Industries, like, factory yeah. and, and land it's and cool all that lore. stuff. I mean, the lore across the park, I mean, full-blown languages and written languages that we've never even seen before from Gal Guardians of the Galaxy, I guess, and just a lot of cool little hidden details and Easter eggs that we'll go through. Thanks for watching.